Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day seven of my 12 days of carry. <laughs> Wyatt here. Are you saying hi? Hi, my handsome boy. Hello. <laughs> All right, this is what we're starting with. So I've got my green t-shirt. <laughs> hi, Mila. A pair of jeans and these brown booties. And I'm gonna put a sweater on top. Uh -huh. So I'm really excited today because I'm going out for coffee with my former boss. I haven't seen her uh, it's probably been a year because I went to visit her when she retired, but I'm really excited to go see her We're gonna catch up a little bit. So I've got this outfit on I'm gonna throw a sweater on top and show you how I'm carrying in kind of a different bag that I've never showed you guys before Okay, here's the sweater. I don't know why for some reason. I feel like when I wear long sweaters. I can't wear a coat. I mean I could but This is really long Like all the way down past my knees. <laughs> so I'll probably just wear this and maybe throw a scarf on in my favorite color, of course. But I wanted to show you guys this bag. This is made by Gun Tote Mamas. I was looking on their website and I wanted to find something that's a little different because I've shown you like a regular concealed carry purse before. But this is a sling backpack. So you wear it like this on your back and it carries your gun so I wanted to test this out and see if I liked it um, right off the bat I love the quality and it matches my brown boots <laughs> but it has a wire that runs through the strap a little more secure it's leather um, and so this is the I think it's called the brown distressed I don't I don't know I'll link this exact one below though so you guys can check it out has lots of pockets has a little one here that I put my lip gloss in um, it has two pockets on the sides and the front so one goes in this way and the other one goes in in front of it the other way so you've got those two pockets and then you have a big pocket for all your stuff like I could fit my whole iPad in here and a bunch of other stuff. There's plenty of room and more pockets inside. There's a zipper pocket and then one, two other pockets inside this big pocket. So that all fits in there. So then where does your gun go? There are two other sections. One is on this side, it opens up. It's the same section, but you can access it either way depending on how you want to draw. And you can also get to it from this side in here. So in there is Velcro, that's where your holster is gonna go. Now I've been playing with this draw a little bit. So I put my gun on this side, so I'm gonna, here's an way. I'm gonna unzip it, take my MMP Shield Plus, put it in my Velcro holster, and then put it in that pocket so that when I draw it, it's coming up like this. Ugh. So put it down in there. So now if you can see it, it's sitting kind of upside down. So that, that's the rear sight right there. And when I go to draw it, it's like this. Okay, so I'm gonna close that up. So you wear it like this on your back. And then when you have to draw, you pull it this way, unzip, and you can draw it like that. I'm still working on this draw. It's a little odd, like it's different than what I normally do. But if this is how you're gonna carry a lot, you really wanna practice that, get that draw down real fast. Okay, <laughs> that takes, oh, where are you guys? That takes some practice, but I gotta go now. I'll take you guys in the car with me. We can chat more about this bag. Um, and then when we get home, I'll open my advent calendar for the day and see what kind of gun girl gift we get today. All right, let's go. I also want to mention I'm going to be carrying my palm pepper spray as always. Just going to stick it in the opposite side pocket from where my gun is. These are so easy to just clip on and go. I have a discount code for these. I will link them in the description of this video. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, we're on our way to our coffee date. I'm so excited. Um, so this bag, I really like it as something different. I like to try different things so I can show you guys because there's no one size fits all option when it comes to concealed carry. Like our lifestyles, our bodies, 
our needs are so different. So I like to try to find as many options as I can to show you in case like nothing else has worked for you and this might be the one thing that changes everything and allows you to carry a gun. Because it's an off-body carry method, I'm gonna, as always, I'm gonna link the video I made concerning off-body carry right here because there's a lot of things you need to take into consideration with off-body carry. For example, I'm in the car right now and I don't want to be wearing a backpack while I'm driving because that doesn't seem very safe either. So I don't wanna wear it while I'm driving. What do I do with it? What if I have other people in the car? So right now, because I'm the only person in the car, I have it right next to me, but on the ground, right, like right next to me. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's still under my direct control, so if I had to get to it, I can reach it without doing any crazy movements with my body. I can just reach it with my hand. If I had a passenger in the car and they were next to me, I wouldn't want my bag right there with my gun because they would also have access to it. So in that situation, I put it on my other side, somewhere in between me and my door, something like that, where no one else has direct access to it, just myself. So that's something very important that you need to take into consideration if you decide you want to carry off body, especially if you have kids around. You don't want to be one of those people on the news who has a terrible accident happen to them and their family because they weren't being safe. We have to be responsible. So just keep that in mind if you decide to carry off body and definitely watch that video that I linked because I talk about some other things that you really need to consider and know about if you're going to carry off body. But I don't think that it's don't ever do this type of situation like some people think. Um, it might be something that works best for you and might be the only way that you can carry it. As long as you're really diligent about your safety, then I don't I don't think that it's a don't ever do this type of thing. And that's all I got to say about that. This afternoon, I'm hoping to go hunting. I haven't been hunting since before I got sick a couple weeks ago. Has it been two weeks? Maybe a little less than two weeks, but it's been a long time. And today's gonna be the first time I go hunting with a muzzle loader. I've never done that before. It's muzzle loader season. And you guys might know I prefer hunting with a bow for like philosophical reasons, but I'm gonna try a muzzle loader today. It'll be nice to not have to use a rangefinder. Uh, and we'll see how that goes, but I'll bring you guys along, film a little bit of my hunt. Hopefully I get a deer. What's today? It's like the 20th almost. So we've got a little over a week left for a deer season, and I still haven't gotten one. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you don't, at least I've seen deer. That's, you know, thankful for that. And it's not always about the harvest. Like sometimes the hunt is about what you learn and learning more about the animals you're hunting and all the other animals in the woods. I just really love being out there um, even if I don't get a deer this year, I'll be really thankful that I got to go out a bunch and spend a lot of time in the woods this year. So we'll see. Maybe today will be my day. It would be pretty cool to get it during my 12 Days of Carry series, but I'll try. I'll try my best. I'm home now and Mac and I are getting ready to go out hunting. This is gonna be my first time hunting with a muzzle loader, so wish me luck. Hey, wish me luck. Go on hunting. Wish you luck. It's actually like 38 degrees out, but it's still cold enough for Stavi to bust out the hot hands. <laughs> This thing is a lifesaver. This is by Hunter Safety Systems. And you stick your hands in it and then keep your hands warm. So I take my hot hands, my, my hot hands, stick one in each side, and then I put all my stuff in these pockets. Okay, so my phone's gonna go in here. I'm gonna extra loads on this side. All right, I'm gonna head out there. Wish me luck.
better than coming home from hunting to this wood stove. Somehow Mila lies right in front of it where it's super hot. She loves it. All right, guys, I'm back from hunting. Unfortunately, I didn't see any deer. I was really optimistic because it's been a couple weeks. I thought, I don't know, I thought I'd see something, but it's okay. I came home safe, so we'll try again probably tomorrow morning. I'll be back out there. Um, but for now, let's open our advent calendar. Day seven. We are, we've got five days left. Oh, how does this, okay, I got it. Day seven, okay. Oh, tomorrow we have date night, so I'll show you guys how I carry on a date. Cute. We got these two stickers. It says Armed in Style. And another Armed in Style, but this one's like a little gingerbread house. So day seven is stickers. I'll probably put these up on my board here. I'm going to spend the rest of the evening probably watching a show with Mac. We've been watching Bosch. If any of you have seen that, let me know in the comments. I really like it. I think we're on season three, maybe, or four. I don't know, but it's a really good show. And we've also been watching Yellowstone, so we have to catch up on that as well. And Chosen season three, episode three, comes out next Sunday. I'm so excited for that. We saw episodes one and two in the theater, so we've been waiting for the season to catch up where we can stream it. So really excited for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow. But for now, stay safe. Bye.